All right, moving right along in our series on vector portraits. In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to best replicate the mouth, starting with the lips. As you can see, I have a new layer called lips, right? New layer for everything, organized. Everything else is locked, only have the current layer you're working on unlocked. I'm going to take the rectangle tool and turn the fill off for now. For the lips, we're going to use a gradient mesh, which you should be familiar with from the brief introductory mission. But if not, I'm going to go over it in a way that you can still figure it out. Very simply. All right. So, so far we've been pen tooling, right? Using the pen tool to outline our shapes, our facial features. However, with the gradient mesh, with something like this, we want to start with a rectangle. So I'm going to drag that out about the width of the mouth. And it seems weird that we're starting with a rectangle, but trust me on this. And I'm going to actually bring this down a little bit. Trust me on this. This is the approach you want to do with the gradient mesh. If we pin tooled it and had these points and it bent up and stuff like that, and we added additional mesh lines, instead of it going parallel from left all the way to right and touching that edge like we want, it's a very good chance it's going to start here and as it curves, curve to right about there, right? And no way to get it all the way to the right. So that's why we start with this rectangle. Then the U key on the keyboard or click on gradient mesh. I'm going to click right in the center, add in one right in the center, and that's going to give us a fill. But we don't want to see that fill as we're doing our grid lines or our mesh lines. So over on our lips layer, we're going to toggle visibility off. You can see it as I roll over, command click, and that gives us grid outline. Then we want to still kind of see what's going on, so we're going to use Window Navigator, right? And you can see there's white right there. Invisible here, but with this window open, we can see what's going on, all right? Back to the mesh tool, I'm going to add some additional mesh lines, something easy. Just like that should be enough to get us started. And then I'm going to take the direct selection tool, A on the keyboard, or the white arrow, some of you may know it as. I'm going to highlight these outside points. I'm going to use the scale tool, which is S on the keyboard, and I'm going to click and drag and kind of bring those together. I'm going to do the same thing over here, A for my direct selection tool, highlight those, S for scale, click and drag, making sure not to cross paths, right? See how it kind of crosses over? Get close, but do not cross, cross over, whoops. Start with something like that. I will narrow it down even more and once we get going a little bit more. And with those still selected, A tool for direct selection, I'm gonna drag these up to about the corner of the mouth, something like that. I want these shorter. So I'm going to just going to kind of one at a time come in and shorten those in about half, okay? It's going to help us create a better kind of gradient later on. And we're going to need to turn them and do some different stuff. Now, same thing here. I'm going to highlight those, drag them up about that corner, and shorten these a bit, about half or so, okay? something like that. Highlight these ones in the middle. I'm going to bring those down to about the bottom part of my lip. And then as I come along, just kind of trace, right? Having to manipulate these handles best we can to try to trace the outside of our lip. Now right here, you want to make sure that your grid lines aren't crossed the wrong way. All right, so be careful, pay attention to all of your handles. And remember, as you move one, another one's going to move, and you kind of just have to go a little bit at a time. You're not going to get it perfect, right? Get it as close as possible. It doesn't have to be exact. You just want the general shape of the lip, okay? Pull this one out just a little bit more, a little bit up. All right, we're looking pretty good. 
before I close the gap on these a little bit, I'm going to do coloring, right? Actually, before we do that, let's take the mesh tool. I'm going to come in here. Just kind of get that a little bit more of a bend like that. There we go. Something like that. I kind of like how that's looking. Although here, I need to now bring that one in. All right. It's going over my tooth a little bit, but that's fine. So now we got the general mesh grid. All right. In the next tutorial, we'll review how you can quickly color that. And as always, as you're working, Command-S to save.